Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you had a wonderful Friday. I am popping on here later than I anticipated. <laughs> um, I don't have any baby news. I just want to say that. I know I'll say it a few more times for everybody popping in here, but um, yeah, I just had a day, a good day, a really good day. Hi Deborah. hi Lisa, Marlene, welcome. So happy to see you coming in. So um, I'll give you a little baby update in a little bit. We don't have a baby yet. So <laughs> I just want you guys that are popping in here to know that. Hi, Haley. I hope you're doing good. Um, I do have some fun news for you. And I just got home a little while ago. Like, holy cow, my day just really got away from me. Hi, Lori Hyde. I'm happy to see you on here. Judy, we've got Judy coming in and Sharon. Oh, I should turn on some lights here. I just like ran in my office. I'm like, oh my gosh, I said 7.45. I had to unpack a few groceries. I made a little trip to the grocery store and oh my gosh, it's so weird. Like it's empty. There's nobody there, which was good, right? And then you can see people and I was doing the same thing. When you go down an aisle, like I would go and I'm like, oh, there's some. I'll go to the next one. Oh, there's somebody. And then I go to the next one. But there's like one person in this aisle. There's a person there. And I just had to pick up some stuff that I needed that Steve keeps ignoring on the grocery list. So we have, um, uh, what do you call that? An Echo Dot that Haley bought me for Christmas last year. I gave it to Steve and told him to program it because I didn't have time. And so it's programmed to his And so when we talk to Alexa, I'll say, Alexa, add baking powder to the grocery list. Alexa, add olive oil to the shopping list. Well, there's two lists and he forgets to check one or the other. And then if he doesn't happen to know what the stuff is, he just ignores it. <laughs> like, I need that stuff. If you want good things from me, I need that stuff. And mind you, I do not cook much anymore. Um, but I do like to bake. And so there's been some things that I've wanted to make lately. One of them is Susie Q. I don't know if you call it cake. Yeah, Susie Q cake. You know the little Susie Q's? that you used to, I don't know if they even still sell them, but they came in a pack about this big. Look at how shaky I am, because I was like, oh, I gotta get on here. Um, the Susie Q's, and then they're, they're like a real, real dark chocolate cake with the white filling, and then another little chocolate cake, so it's like a sandwich. Well, I wanna make some of those, and I need Crisco, and I need Devil's Food, food Cake, so this is kind of funny. So I put Devil's Food Cake on the list, and he comes home from the grocery store last week, whatever, and, um, he got, he, he comes into my office with the, the things that I had requested. He holds up um, a box of angel food cake. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh, I love angel food cake. That, that's my favorite cake is angel food cake. And I'm like, oh, I love angel food cake. And he goes, yeah, but you put devil's food cake on there. And I'm like, I think she means angel food cake. <laughs> I'm like, no, I meant devil's food cake. And he had no idea what that was. So I thought that was kind of funny. And then I, I was going over the grocery and shopping list on his phone with him to see what he had been ignoring because I don't remember what I told, what I told Alexa. And um, we're going over it. And, and as we get to the Crisco, because you need that for the Suzy Q cake, I think. As, you get, as he got to the Crisco, he's like, oh, this, I already got this. And I'm kind of, I go, you did? And he's like, yeah, that big tall bottle, I'm like, that's vegetable oil, not Crisco. And he's like, well, I think it says Crisco on the front of it. And I'm like, I don't care what it says. It's not Crisco. So it's kind of funny that he doesn't know a lot of these things that we who have shopped and baked forever just kind of take for granted. It's kind of cute. But anyways, my day today. So Haley requested um, waffles this morning. So I got up, my alarm went off, I had, I had set my alarm so I don't sleep too late, and I got up and made waffles, but as I'm making the waffles, I'm out of baking powder, I'm out of flour. I'm like, how does that even happen? Well, I've been making pancakes lately and I forget how much that takes. So <clears throat> we got everything under control. We were also running out of maple syrup. I always get it from my friend Cindy over in Nilsville. My uncle over in Nilsville makes it too, so I buy from both of them. And my stash is gone, and we are not traveling right now. So I'm like, oh. And then to buy maple syrup at the grocery store, holy cow, is that expensive. And 
I grew up in a really big breakfast family. Like that was our major meal of the day for us. And my dad was just the most wonderful pancake maker. And we always had homemade, homemade pancakes, homemade waffles. My mom did the waffles, um, homemade French toast. He cut the crust off of it and it was always special. And he bought the farmer's loaf of bread. And so all kinds of really cool stuff like that. And so Haley requested waffles. I made waffles for breakfast. We had breakfast sausages with those, so that was really good. And um, then her and Jared went home, and I, what did I do? Oh, I made swaps today. That's what I'm gonna demo for you guys tonight. We are gonna stamp tonight, so I'm excited to be back. And um, I, she designed the swaps, but then she couldn't finish them. So I made the swaps and then I kept thinking I was a day late. Like, oh my gosh, these were due in the mail yesterday and I feel horrible and I hate it when I miss deadlines. And I was just kind of kicking myself for the last, since yesterday, thinking I'm not gonna get them done yesterday. They were due in the mail yesterday. Here I was all confused. They're due in the mail the 24th and today is the 24th. So I got them out and that was fabulous. And so, it's been wonderful, and I'm missing what Haley might be telling you right now because I do have news. So um, she told me it was okay to tell you this. So she actually went into labor yesterday, I think yesterday. She was having contractions, and they came over for breakfast yesterday, and when they left, her contractions were... I think it was, did she come here yesterday? I don't know, my days are getting so mixed up. But anyways, her contractions were like five and a half minutes apart. And so they called the doctor. Maybe they didn't come yesterday. They called the doctor and her doctor said, yep, you need to go to the hospital. And we're like, oh my gosh, it's happening, right? <laughs> I was like, ooh. And um, they got checked in at the hospital. Uh, there is a picture that Jared took of Haley in the bed with the monitor thing on her on her baby belly and um, the lady came in to administer the COVID-19 test because all new moms have to be tested because what they're finding and this is kind of a recent thing what they're finding is that um, pregnant women are not showing any symptoms of COVID like they can have it and not show anything. Yeah, Haley says they didn't come over yesterday. That was the day before. Okay, thanks, because it's all getting like muddled up in, in here. You know how this works in here. So, um, Jared took a picture of this lady that came in to administer the COVID-19 test to Haley. Head to toe, full, like, crazy outer space movie epidemic looking thing. And he said she's the COVID-19 beekeeper. And it was just the, and I looked at that picture and I'm like, oh my goodness, is this what we've come to? Like, this is so insane. That's my baby in a hospital with a lady that is dressed from head to toe, protecting herself from this crazy crap that's going on right now. And it was just a real like, oh, wow. It made it really real, you know, and it was creepy and, and I don't know, it was just, I felt bad that this is the time she's having a baby and like this is insanity, right? So anyways, that was that was crazy. But so um, she was five and a half minutes apart on her contractions and as the day went on, the contractions started spreading out. And she got an awesome room. The last room left was this huge like special suite um, they're all birthing rooms, but they're like beautiful hotel rooms. And it was this huge suite with a room off to the side and it had a microwave and a refrigerator and a TV in the other room. And it was just awesome. And it was a beautiful picture out the window of the river. And it was right by the helipad. She snapped me a photo one time. The helicopter came in and landed right in front of her window. And she said when it took off again and left, they went over to the window and waved to the helicopter guy. And he waved back. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be so great. And I wish I could be there, but I can't be there. And that sucks. And, and then they sent her home. <laughs> like, really? So then she felt stupid. And I said, no, 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 no. You were having contractions. They were five and a half minutes apart. You need to be going to the hospital. These things happen. Don't feel dumb. This is not, you didn't do something wrong. But then they were so excited because the nurse walked into the room when they were there yesterday and said, are you guys ready to have a baby today? And they're like, yeah. 
and then it didn't happen. <laughs> so they did a little some procedure, and I'm not going to get into the gory details, but um, they did something that kind of kicks her hormones. It wasn't Pitocin. They didn't induce it. And I'm like, make them induce you. You're there. You're checked in. You're, you're safe and quarantined and... Just tell them to induce that and have that baby. And they said they would not do it. And, and I'm like, why not? Because I heard from so many people of my friends that said, I drove myself to the hospital and um, then my, my labor pains got further away and they tried to send me home. And I said, I will not be going home today. I am having a baby today. This is my friend. And I'm like, you tell them to induce you and get that baby out of there. Well, here's the deal. They told her that when you induce a labor, you are much, you have a much higher instance of having to have a C-section than if you let this happen on its own. Okay, we don't want a C-section, right? We don't. Both my stepdaughters had C-sections and, and those of you that have had them, you, well, maybe you don't know because if you've never had a baby without a C-section, you don't know the difference, but, but I mean, it's a major, major surgery. So I don't want her to have a C-section. I want this to happen. So anyways, now she is having labor pains. They're 12 minutes to 20 minutes apart. She's in quite a bit of pain, pretty uncomfortable. So today when I had to go run to pick up a prescription, um, I, I messaged them and asked them, do you need something to eat? Do you want me to go to Panda Express? Do you want me to go to Rocky Rococo for pizza? Do you want me to get you something? Um, do you want Dairy Queen? And they both, they both, Herod and Jaylee said, Dairy Queen. Herod, oh my gosh, Herod and Jaylee. Haley and Jared, you can tell I'm really excited, right? We might not be able to stay up tonight. No, I'm just kidding, we will. But um, they both requested Dairy Queen. So I stopped at Dairy Queen and got them some, some yummy blizzards and um, went over to their place. And I ate ice cream with them and we watched some TV. And then I promptly fell asleep on their couch. Like, complete mom fail, right? And I thought, oh my God, I can't believe I just fell asleep. But I got so tired. And... Um, I thought, nah, if Haley was annoyed that I fell asleep, she'd go like, geez, mom, why are you falling asleep? I'm over here having labor pains and you're sleeping. <laughs> I can sleep any place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Judy says she had nine hours of labor. Yeah, I was in labor for 12 hours. So, and I had back labor. That was fun. But, um, yeah, so things are happening, you guys. And I can't hardly wait to tell you when my baby's here. Did you hear that? Did you hear that little, my baby? Yeah. <laughs> but we're excited here. So anyways, I got home not too long ago, like at quarter after seven, and I ran in here to my office and put up the, I'll be live at 745, and then I had to unpack my things, and, and then I'm like, come running in here, and it's 744, and I still have to pick a winner from yesterday's. Um, Facebook Live. And remember, I said I was going to give away this Make a Splash. I know this is backwards. I haven't really, you know, I should test this out and see if I can mirror my screen again. Because remember, it was doing stupid things. It, it'll flash in the background. So I'm going to try to mirror my screen here and see what happens. So hang tight. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's our toolbar. And here's our mirroring. So I'm going to mirror it. I'm going to wait just a bit to see what happens. But in the meantime, I can show you this. It's super duper duper cute. And this is the Make a Splash stamp set. I happen to have an extra one. This is going to be retiring with our current annual catalog. This is one of those stamp sets that you can only get. I'm still watching my screen over here. So don't be, I'm, I'm not being distracted. But this is one of those stamp sets that you can only get when you either host a party and your sales reach over $150. Yeah, it's flashing in the background. I'm gonna unmirror my screen. Sorry, you guys. It's still screwed up. I don't know what's going on. But you can only get this when you place a $150 order um, or you host a party and it goes over $150. You use your Stampin' Rewards to get those exclusive stamp sets. The winner from yesterday's Facebook Live is, I know she's watching, Lori Hyde, this is yours. And I hope you enjoy this. I think this is the cutest little stamp set. It's got the greetings in it that say, thanks for making me smile today. You always make a splash. Just keep swimming. 
and it's the little things and i think this is highly appropriate to be making cards for your friends and family right now with uh, especially just keep swimming and you always make a splash i just think those are cute little all occasion cards and it tells people keep going we're gonna get through this so as i was watching i'll, I'll get this out in the mail to you lori and congratulations lori hyde is from menasha wisconsin she's right here in menasha so um, <clears throat> one of the things that popped up on my phone today was that Wisconsin has issued a stay-at-home order. They have extended it to May 26th. Yep, we're going to be okay, you guys. <laughs> I was so not happy to hear that, but we need to be safe, and we don't want a recurrence of this to happen, right? So... Um, I know people are like going, well, they, they opened everything back up in China and everything's going fine again and everything's fine. No, everything isn't fine. They're having a resurgence. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to shut everything down twice, right? We want to get rid of this. So whatever our government needs to do to keep us safe and make that happen, none of us are happy about it. Some of us are like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We can do this. So I'm in it with you. We're going to be in it together. And um, we're going to get through this. Happy thoughts. Glass half full. Remember, glass half full. Just keep telling yourself that. Glass half full. So um, big shout out. Big shout out to Jared, Haley's husband. I just really have to tell you how wonderful he's being. And... <laughs> Um, I, I just, I, I admire him so much. What he's going through right now is crazy. And you guys know how helpless the man always feels because there's just nothing they can do to help. Right. Um, I mean, they can, they can, she, he's filling her ice water and, um, he's keeping it full. She's not asking him to do that. And he's rubbing her belly when she's laying on the chair and she goes like, she goes like this with her fingers and scratches it. So I couldn't see her doing that today. And there was this noise and it sounded like a cat was trying to hack up a hairball. <laughs> so, and I'm like, is your cat throwing up someplace? And he moved over so I could see her hand just scratching the chair. It was kind of funny. But anyways, huge shout out to him. And I've told her this several times over the last, I don't know how long, that <clears throat> I try to be re really careful not to say, um, you're so lucky because this doesn't really have anything to do with luck. It's always what's at the tip of my tongue is, oh my gosh, you're so lucky to have him. And it's not luck. Then I, before it gets out of my mouth, I say, um, you really did good. You picked good because she picked this this man to be her partner in life, to be her baby daddy, and she picked really good. I just adore him. And I have a lot of sympathy for what he's going through right now because as her partner, you want to like take away this pain, right? That's what you want to do. You always try to fix things. That's what moms do. But um, <clears throat> he's amazing. So big shout out to Jared. You're doing great. You're doing great. Hang in there. No matter. And she's being super good too. She's not like, oh my God. She's like, oh, you know, whatever. She's not, she's not a nasty mama to be <laughs> where she's like swearing and, you know, being cranky. She's doing really good. And he's hanging in there with her and being just the doting husband that every pregnant mom should have. Yeah. So, anyways, I have some beautiful mail to share with you guys, and <clears throat> um, I got some really cool mail today. I am going to start right here, and it's funny because I got this from Mark and Janelle Dara, I think that's how I say the last name, from Brooksville, Florida. And it was funny because when I looked, oh, I got to remember, um, never mind, but um when I looked at the envelope, I'm like, Mark and Janelle, we have friends named Mark and Janelle. Like Mark and Janelle are a couple that we know. So that was kind of funny. Look at this pretty card. Is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh, this is, it says sending prayers. And then there is a prayer in here, which is really sweet. And a note from Janelle that says, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the lives you are doing for us. Your your virtual friends. You are so awesome to carve out time every day to chat with each 
each with us. You don't realize what an impact you have made on so many people. You are such a blessing, Janelle. And you know, I almost feel a little embarrassed reading some of these because, well, because you know, like <clears throat> everybody's saying how awesome I am and that is not, I mean, that's great and I appreciate it and I love it and don't stop saying it because <laughs> it's pretty cool, but I don't want to come across as, oh, look how great I am. Blah, blah, blah. So you guys know me better than that, right? So sometimes some of these are kind of like, oh my gosh, should I read, should I read the letter? But then I've been reading so many letters, I feel um, like I would be, it would be kind of a slap in the face if I didn't read the letter. So I just, I just, I don't know why I'm telling you that. Probably because I'm excited about the baby. <laughs> right? Uh, oh, and look at decorated envelope and I um hang on yep decorated envelope very very pretty so thank you very much your um, message was so sweet then I have another one look at this pretty envelope and this is from Cheryl Lee and she's from Calgary Alberta Canada and look at how look at how pretty this is you guys look at how pretty that is yeah, so pretty. I love, love, love this. It's a fun fold, and I love it. So, um, and she used the designer series paper as this part. This whole part here is designer series paper. So, very, very cool. I really like this a lot. So, I just wanted you to know that. And um, it says, hello, Kelly. I would like to thank you for all you do to make a special event, event for us, teaching us new ideas, techniques, and more, this is just a little note to send you smiles as you give us all the time, as you give us the laughter all the time. And um, smiles for Steve, too. <laughs> so this is super, super cute. Thank you so much, Cheryl. This is just a beautiful card. I really appreciate it. Then I have a card that came from Wanda Beers of Clayton, Delaware. And let's show you this card because it's so pretty. Hang on, I got the letter. Oh, I gotta get it right side up. Here we go, ready? Look at how cute this is. What? Yeah, I love this. I love fun folds, you guys know that. And um, it says grateful for you every day. And then it's got the hello on the front with the pineapple and the trees. And Wanda says, whoops, I'll leave this up here. Wanda says, I really enjoy your daily Facebook Live. You have great card ideas, make us all laugh, and I enjoy hearing about Baby Weedley. When I saw your pineapple card, I knew I wanted to send a note. I also just had a new granddaughter, and she is an IVF baby. The pineapple is a symbol for infertility. We are so blessed to have her, as there are so many parents that struggle to have babies. Also, like you, we only knew that her middle name was Lee until she was born on September or February 24th and her name is Brenna Lee. I'm sure by the time you receive this we will know what Weedley's real first name is. You would think, won't ya? <laughs> um, love her and enjoy her as I do my Brenna Lee. So thank you so much Wanda and yeah Haley get on this. People need to know. <laughs> oh yeah she's trying really hard. She's working on it. Then I got mail from, hang on just a second, uh, Helen Burnley. And I have to show you this beautiful card. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. And it opens up with the ribbon to the inside. Is that not gorgeous? Gold foil. This is the ornate garden. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. It says, Dear Kelly, just wanted to say thanks for all you do. Love you to the moon and back. Warmly, Helen. Beautiful. Then I have a letter. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to do Facebook Live. I can't tell you how much I look forward to hearing the Facebook notification pop up that a stamp above your creative coach is now live. As soon as you're on, I retreat to my quiet place for uninterrupted time with Kelly Live. You're the absolute highlight of my day unless my iPad decides to become possessed, type what it wants, and goes into buffering mode, and then sad face. <laughs> I especially enjoy how you and Haley share your world with us, anxiously awaiting the arrival of Baby Fink, affectionately known as Weedley. 
I find myself checking Facebook several times a day waiting to hear the great news. By the time you receive this, I'm sure the baby will have arrived. <laughs> we thought so too. Um, I also want to thank you so much for being my pretend upline. In my mind, you are, smiley face. Since my upline decided to leave Stampin' Up! a few years ago, our group became orphaned and I lost some of my creativity and motivation. Since watching you, I'm happy to say I'm back, creating with excitement and loving what I do. And that makes my heart happy. I said that. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Spending time with you and being able to talk to others who share the love of stamping has lifted my spirits and made me feel welcome back to the stamping community I dearly love. Lastly, thank you for being you, sharing laughs. I love to laugh, teaching us to make awesome cards and allowing me to be part of your stamping family. With much affection and love, Helen Burnley. And then she said, congratulations on becoming a girl. It's the best feeling ever. And she always decorates her envelopes now. So, and of course, we have a beautiful decorated envelope. Isn't that sweet? This is just so sweet. Okay, and not only did she send me a card, um, and I did open up, it wasn't sealed, but I opened Haley's so I can show it to you guys. She also sent Haley a card, beautiful paper, right? Look at this cute little card, you guys. It says, welcome to the world, little one, and it's a shaker. Let me see if I can get the shakes. To, see the shakes? See the shakes? Yeah. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? I know it's probably like blurry on the screen, but there's shakes in there. We've got sequins in here. It's so cute. And then let me see if I can open it. This is the inside. That cute little bunny. I love that little bunny from the Welcome Easter set. It says, Dear Haley and Jared, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. When your little baby girl arrives, she may bring you sugar and spice and everything nice. Or may she bring you sugar and spice and everything nice. Congratulations and best wishes to you and your new family. Thank you so much. And Helen, I am going to set this over on Haley's side of my desk so that she will be able to um, take that card home and enjoy it. Last but not least, you guys, one more. This is really cool. I got this from one of my team members, Vicki Edmondson. And um, Vicki's just the sweetest. She is from Newport, North Carolina. Look at this pretty card she made. That's that specialty foil paper, um, the flowering foil. She colored all those flowers in and then used the ornate garden for the thank you. And for those of you coming in late, we do not have a baby yet, but she's trying. There are contractions. <laughs> I just see some questions up here, but beautiful, beautiful card from Vicki. And then she sent me this. And this is made with our file folders. And when you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, let me see if I can find one. When you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we get, we get, um, we can order some special supplies. And here we go. I found them. Um, oh, these are different file folders, though. These aren't the ones. Well, I don't know. I, I think they're on the demonstrator supply list as, de as demonstrators, discount shoppers. Stampin' Up! does not discriminate. So once you order that starter kit and join my team, you have access to all this kind of stuff. But we have some just really pretty file folders. It's just nice for our business. We like pretty things, right? So these are some file folders that I received at one of our Stampin' Up! events. There's one more here. I got, I think, six of them, but look at how pretty they are, right? And I just, I just keep them in my file cabinet. Um, someday I'll put some things in them, but I'm not that organized. You guys know that about me, right? So someday I'll get that organized. Well, I probably won't, but I might put some things in those. Let's be real. Who are you fooling, Kelly? But anyways, look at this. This is one of our file folders, and she took it and scored it and cut it down and put a little Velcro closure on it. And this is what's inside. And she folded it up here to make it a little folder. It has a beautiful card in it. Again, she used the, um, the folder to make this card. So this is cut off the folder. Absolutely gorgeous. Or maybe it's, is it the grid paper? Let me look. Oh, she's got this glued down really good. Vicki, you glue good. No, it, it feels like a little bit thicker than that. Look at how pretty that is. And... That card tucks in right over here, and then it's got a little legal pad. 
And she also used some of the paper to put um, around the top of the legal pad to make it pretty. Now, is this not just the coolest thing? And then I was showing this to one of my other friend team members, Kathy, today. And she goes, yeah, Jody Peterson made some of those. And I'm like, what? And I think Jody showed them to me and I completely forgot about them. So isn't this just the coolest little thing with this beautiful card? And um, Vicki writes to me and says... Kelly, words can't express how thoughtful or how thankful I am to you for all you do for your team, and I am so happy to be part of it. No matter what, you are always there for us. You have helped us uh, so many times, so, so many times. Lately with the virtual swap, she just joined one of my swaps. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your daily Facebook Lives have been a delightful break from the CQ 2020. You will be so overjoyed hang on when weedley arrives maybe she's being born as i write this well she wasn't <laughs> um and there is nothing like your love for a grandchild please accept this notepad and cards as a small token of my appreciation thank you for sharing you vicky thank you so much and you certainly did not need to do this but i am very appreciative and thank you it is beautiful so maybe i'll show you guys how to make this okay because this is this is a really neat little gift idea okay i just think it's really cool and what you could do is we could make this out of something pretty you know things are going in my head we could make this out of something pretty you could send it to a friend with a card in it saying that you miss them and you just wanted to give them something to make them smile or make their life a little happier right now. Get some little legal pads. We can order these online, right? And decorate them up and pop them in the mail. This would be a great thing to have in my kitchen for my grocery list. And I could put my coupons or notes or whatever else I need in this side over here and display my card, right? I think this is really, really cool. So. Maybe we have another Facebook Live project, huh? I think this is a really neat idea. It also make a really great gift for um, coworkers once we go back to work and offices or teacher gifts. Good teacher gift. Um, how about Secret Santa? Yeah, you could decorate it for, well, you, I don't know. If, yeah, it would make a cr cute little Christmas thing. Any type of gift at all, really. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, let me set this back here. I've got kind of a mess going on back here. So I got my swap out in the mail today. That was really exciting. I didn't get my Split Coast Stampers tutorial done yet, but I'm figuring I'll work on that later tonight. And I think I padded my calendar a little bit. So while I thought it was due yesterday um, to the people that run Split Coast Stampers.com, I actually don't think it's due till next Wednesday. I think I put it in my calendar to alert me early so that I would have time to make it by the due date. I think that's what I did. <laughs> I think. <laughs> so I'm, in, I'm good. I'm good. So I think, I know I've missed most of your um, comments here because it's hard. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Haley, how are you feeling? Well, Joe, she's, she's having contractions and they're not fun. We know this, right? Urgh. Yeah, it's a bear, but she's doing really good. She's being a trooper. Um, she hasn't turned into a crazy psycho birthing mother. <laughs> you know, because some people do. And and some people, I think, have a... I'm not dissing anybody who has done that because, my gosh, you're, you're popping a, a watermelon out of your crotch. Let's be real about that. Well, maybe not a big watermelon. But anyways, I have to tell you guys one more really funny thing. So, um, after Haley went to the hospital and they sent her home and she was so disappointed and very frustrated. And like I said, she felt, you know, like, Oh, I was so dumb. I shouldn't have gone and whatever. And no, you shouldn't have, you were fine. But, um, she, she said to me, um, she goes, I am not going back to that hospital until I need a wheelchair to be wheeled in or an arm is sticking out. <laughs> picture this in your brain she's walking in and there's an arm sticking out of her Ooh. I almost peed my pants <laughs> I knew you guys would love that I had to remember to tell you that because it was just hysterical okay so a 
I'll give you guys a moment to collect yourselves. Maybe head to the bathroom. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, what are you drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. I'm such a creature of habit. You know that I am. Hi, Bruno. I'm happy to see you here. So we don't have a baby yet. <laughs> Just so you know, in case you missed that. But um, tonight... I am going to be watching So Sentimental, or watching, we're going to be using the So Sentimental Suite. I think these are still on back order, but this was the um, card that I made today for uh, the swap that I mailed out. So um, I, and actually I made the swap cards, but Haley designed this card and I thought it would be very fitting for me to share that with you tonight. And are we all recovering from the whole, um, retirement list thing because I know that can be such a shocker, right? I wonder if my phone, hang on, I'm going to make sure my phone is plugged in. I think that my, did you guys catch my, did my butt stick up in the air? I hope not. <laughs> um, I don't know, there's something wrong with my cord under my desk, so I have to plug it back in all the time and then it starts charging. I, don't, I just don't want it to go dead. Anyways, so we're going to be using So Sentimental. I have a fun fold to share with you. It is very easy. And depending on how you make it, it can be even easier. And I have to say, so I have not made, um, I design, okay, I design cards and I make swaps and I have helpers. And I have some of the best helpers in the industry that make my swaps for me. And I say that very affectionately because I'm pretty picky about who I allow to make cards that go out with my name on them. I, I need them to be straight. I need the blades to be sharp. I need the ink pads to be juicy. I need there to be no halos or edges when you stamp. Like, I'm really picky. And um, so I have some fabulous, fabulous helpers. And I usually don't make multiples of cards. Um, but I did this time because Haley went into labor. And I told her that before she got to, went to the hospital, she goes right by my house to go to the hospital that she should stop in here and finish those swap cards. <laughs> and we both had a very good laugh about that. But she didn't stop in and finish the swap cards. So I had to make the swap cards. And oh my lord, it was only 12. It's like no big deal. But um, I loved, I really enjoyed it. Like doing assembly line is, um, once you have designed your card, doing assembly line is kind of a mindless, relaxing thing for me. And I just really had such a nice time making these cards. So thank you, Haley, for going into labor and letting mom have a really enjoyable day making swap cards. I love you. All right, here we go. I'm going to flip you guys around because, well, I can't stamp up here, right? And, um... I'm just reading some of your comments. Thank you guys so much. Hey, before I flip you around, please push that share button. You can do that right now, and I would so appreciate it. That really helps me grow my business, and it's one thing that you can do for me that I go, thank you so much. I just so appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't yet. That also helps in the whatever, internet magical world analytics, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna flip you around. If you get motion sickness, I need you to close your eyes until I tell you to open them. Otherwise, we don't, there's no throwing up and stamping. That's my rule. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Okay, I think we're looking pretty straight. Let me tuck my cord up so we don't have that in our way. Jiggling a little bit. And open sesame. So when I go over to Haley and Jared's house, it's really funny because they live in like um, an upstairs. The downstairs is a garage in this big complex and the upstairs is like their apartment. And when I get there, I always park in front of the garage door and then I text them and say open sesame or Simon says open or whatever. It's kind of funny. Maybe it's not that funny. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's funny. Okay. We are using early espresso ink here. And again, the So Sentimental. Um, if these are on back order, I think they're going to be back in the warehouse on, I believe, May 5th. I'm going to check quickly for you. I should have looked at this before I went live. But like I said, I just got home and I was kind of rushing around trying to get things ready. So hang tight. I painted my fingernails again, but they look really crummy again, don't they? 
I hate, this is why I get my nails done because I hate all this upkeep. It's just hard. Okay, looking at the list. Um, dies, dies, dies. Somebody, somebody might even have said this. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh no, they're still on back order. So sentimental. It doesn't even tell us when they're coming. But anyways, when these are back in stock, I can't tell you how much I love these. Like, I love them. I have used these so many times. And usually I use the two bigger ones. Tonight, we're going to be using the smaller ones. And again, this card was... Um, designed by Haley. And so let's get busy here. I have crumb cake cardstock. This is four and a quarter by eight and a half. It is scored at five and a half. So this is, you know, your card, and then this is going to fold over. We have a scrap of old olive. I am using the, oh, what's this called? Hang on, I gotta close the drawer, move over to the other side of the room, grab a pack of paper, here we go. Ooh, that was quick, wasn't it? This is the Pressed Petals Designer Series paper, and this is that gorgeous, gorgeous paper. It's a little different, it's a little thinner than our regular paper, I've used this many times. This is retiring, but you get all this gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful blueberry bushel, isn't that pretty, with the burlap in the background. All this gorgeous paper in one pack. I'll just pull it out. I don't have this on one of my sampler um, things, so that's why I'm not showing you that. And now it's retiring, so I don't need to do it, right? Oh, that's the same page I already showed you. Sorry. Here comes these beautiful leaves. These are gorgeous. And burlap, like whole sheets of burlap. I think you get four of each one of these sheets in here. It's a specialty paper. Did I show you guys this one? I think I... Did I show you those flowers? I think I did. Oh, and then this. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Beautiful, right? So, all kinds of gorgeous, gorgeous paper in here. And I like these because you can cut these panels apart and just put it on the front of a card and add like a little sentiment on a banner. Makes it super, super easy. And this, you can cut this off and use it on a scrapbook page as an element, or you can put it, cut it in half and use two of them on a card. Very, very cool. Okay, let me move this off to the side. I'll put this back over by Haley's stuff. I'm thinking it's going to be a little while before she comes back. <laughs> okay, so I took these two um, patterns of the paper, the wood grain, and I should say Haley did because... Does this even fit? Oh, yeah, it does. Um, she she made this card. This one is two and a half by three and five eighths. This one is two and an eighth by three and a quarter. Okay. And then she loves gold. Like, she loves gold. She's got gold accents throughout her house and the baby's nursery. Her wedding ring is gold. She loves gold. So we've got... A one by four and a quarter inch gold foil piece. Then we've got, here's a scrap of Old Olive, a scrap of gold foil, a scrap of Rococo Rose, and a scrap of Very Vanilla. We're going to do just a little bit of stamping here. By the way, if you're ever looking for all the details for these projects, you can find still photos on my blog. My blog address is right here. If you would like to place an order for anything right now, don't forget to go to my blog and look at that retirement list. I've got it on there so you can read it. It's not so tiny like the first one that I published from Stampin' Up. But um, use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to have those. If it's under $150, use the code. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, stamping. Here we go. So out of this beautiful sentiment set, I love all of these in here. Haley chose the Hello Baby. And we're going to stamp that with Early Espresso Ink on very vanilla cardstock. And we're going to get this out. Now we're going to get the dies out and do a little bit of die cutting. So I'm taking the smallest little label die here, and we're going to die cut that Hello Baby. Then we're going to take the next size up, and we're going to die cut the Rococo Rose. Let me close this up. We're going to take our Old Olive. 
Oh, I don't know why. Oh, this is the gold. Okay, never mind. I'm like, why do I have that there? It's gold. We're going to take the, let me make sure I got the sizes right, the largest rectangle and the next size down rectangle, and we're going to die cut those on old olives. So we have this, this, the, whoops, the Hello Baby here on that little tiny one, and... You guys know me pretty well. I have done this for us, so we didn't have to sit around and wait for that. So here comes, look at, I love, love, love the stitched edges on this. This is such a popular, trendy thing right now in stamping. And this little scalloped edge, you know what you can do with these? You can take these and actually, let's do this, add these under a layer and just have that little tiny bit coming off the top or the bottom of that scallop, that scalloped edge. That is such a pretty little element. So not only can you use them like this, but you can you can use them like that. I'm As I'm looking at this, I'm like, ooh, I need to do that with some stuff, right? How cute would this be to have a little sentiment banner and have this underneath? I just thought of that. Genius! <laughs> That's not really that hard. Okay, so... Um, the other thing we need to do is the layered leaves. I don't know if this is still available, but I'm pretty sure it's retiring. The layered leaves, you're going to die cut the gold foil. Now, you want to make sure that your shiny foil side, when you put it in here, is up. When you close it, you see the Stampin' Up! Um, logo, okay? The gold is facing this way because you want your leaves to be raised. Otherwise, they're going to be indented. Does that make sense? Because I know that when we first did this, um, Haley almost did it backwards. And I'm like, no, no, you want to flip that over. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Okay. Once you do that, then we have this. And she has done a lot of embossing with the foil papers. And I have to say, it's something I don't think of often. But I'm going to start doing more of that because it's so spectacular, right? Okay, so we have all these little pieces. We're also going to be using this one and an eighth inch scallop circle punch. This, I believe, is also retiring. So we're going to punch one of those out of the scrap. And now we're going to start assembling our card. Here comes, we don't need this anymore. Here comes our card base. Oh, and by the way, you guys, these mats that I use, these are also retiring. So if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you get one because I really love this. It is my stamping surface, and it just makes stamping images, it makes your images better. I don't know else how else to explain it. Especially if you have the larger photopolymer stamps. Larger ones need that little bit of cushion to actually work well. And I don't understand that at all because you would think that a hard surface would be the best surface for you to stamp on. And it's not. And it's weird. It's kind of like all that internet magic, blah, blah, blah analytics that we, most people don't understand like me. <laughs> okay, here we go. We, um, I just glued the uh, three and five eighths by two and a half inch designer paper onto this old olive and we're gonna take this and add it right to that flap on the front of our card. And again, this card base is eight and a half by four and a quarter scored at five and a half right here. Okay, so isn't that just cool looking? I love that layer, layer on there. Here comes the other designer paper. We're gonna use the leaf and vanilla side here. And I want to make sure that I can see my little stitched edges around here. I can move this one just a little bit. Ah! Did you see that? I slid it too much. Hang on. That's why I like my glue because I can slide it around a little bit. And there we go. Okay, I did better now. All right, I need dimensionals. Where did my dimension? Did you see them? Here they are. Get the dimensionals out. Okay. I, oh, I thought I cut these all up already, but I didn't. Do you guys use your edges? If you're new to stamping, don't forget to use these edges on your cards. You might as well get more mileage out of your dimensionals. But these work fabulous, too. Don't ever throw your edges away. I know sometimes when I have a stamping event, I will, um, you're going to put dimensionals on the back of the top. I will see these empty cards with the edges still on them in the garbage because somebody, one of my customers has cleaned up and I always run over and grab them out of there. It's like, don't throw these away, you can use them. 
And now we're going to add this one inch strip of gold foil that is embossed in the layered leaves or layering leaves. I don't even know what this is called, but it's some type of leaves. <laughs> and I won't need to keep not remembering it for much longer because it's retiring. <laughs> I think it's called layered leaves. But if you do a uh, search in my online store with, for layered leaves or layering leaves, it'll pop up. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now we've got dimensionals on the top of the back layer right here. Now I'm going to take and put one right here. And that's just going to help support this layer. If I can get the backs off the dimensionals, we'll be in business. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this on about right here. And I'm just going to center it. I've got it about, I don't know, a quarter of a way, quarter of an inch or more, a little more down on that gold foil strip here. And now I'm going to bring in these elements. And I just loved what Haley did with these because she's all about layers. I was talking to... Um, I can't remember her name today, but she called me about the pom-pom that I'm missing from my birthday bonanza. And the little pom-pom thing, party hat pom-pom. And she told me that I can actually, there's a party hat in the um, meerkats that I could use. And I was so grateful because I didn't really realize that. But she, I was telling her that Haley has such good taste. She said she loved the nursery pictures. I said she has the best decorating taste. And that, of course, follows through into her designing card taste and scrapbook pages, right? So she took this little element and put it on the retiring scallop punch. And I just thought that was so pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang on, I got to get a drink. My throat is like, eh. Oh, that was good. Now, then what I do is take several of these little dimensional pieces. And I want to kind of fill this back up. Because we're going to bring in, I think, is this metallic thread um, also retiring, you guys? I'm not sure if it is or not. I, I think that it may be. Hang on, mine is kind of tangled up here. I don't know why that happens. It's almost gone. I'm going to find the end. There it is. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me get this straightened out here. So here's our metallic thread and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to hold on to it and I'm going to just kind of wrap it around three fingers like eight, nine, ten, twelve times, whatever you want here. But it has to be substantial because this is really little, right? And I've got it wrapped in a circle like this. Oh, and you should take these off before you do that. I got so, I was rushing. I don't know why. Here we go. Here we go. And now I'm just going to kind of bring this in here and kind of attach it to my dimensionals. And you just kind of move it around. However you can get it in here, you're going to kind of wiggle it around. It's just kind of a little messy looking, kind of like this is having a bad hair day. This may be a little bit too much. This is more than Haley had. I'll show you her sample. <laughs> but anyways, that's how you do that. You just stick it on some dimensionals. And I'm going to add this right to the back. Oops, let me see. Hang on, my crown is falling down. <laughs> I don't want a crown in our eyes. Okay, that's stuck on there really good. Okay, and now we're just going to take this little Hello Baby. Whoops, I almost did it wrong. And we're going to add a little bit of glue right down here to the corner of this. And we're going to put this right down here. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Is that not so precious? And of course you can stamp a sentiment in here. Or you can use this all to write on. But she said, oh, she said the one thing she wanted to make was a really classy baby card. And I think, you guys, that this certainly qualifies for a classy baby card. I'm doing one more thing here. I've got some of our linen thread, and I'm going to make a triple bow with my bow jig. Now, if you're new to me tonight, um, this is nothing more than a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it, and then some straight, I think they call these pen penny nails or finishing nails. I don't know what they're called, but anyways... 
They look like this. Okay, this is just a hunk of wood. These two holes are an inch apart and then a half an inch and a half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. It's nothing more than a piece of wood with some nails in it and some holes. And that makes this beautiful bow. I actually did a video on my YouTube channel, which by the way, I forgot to tell you, we are celebrating 21,000 subscribers as of yesterday. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. That really helps me out too. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, when we're done here tonight and you have time, head over to YouTube, do a search for Kelly Atchison and A-C-H-E-S-O-N and subscribe to it. And that way YouTube will notify you when I have new on YouTube. But anyways, I just celebrated 21,000 subscribers. Okay, I just put a wadded up, I crumpled up my little um, mini glue dot. And whoops, my lamp just went, ooh. I might need to get some new lamps staying up in the air where they belong. And I'm just going to put that right there. And that kind of ties into the whole wood grain. I love the classy foil with the wood grain. It's kind of a shabby chic look, don't you think? So yeah, and here's Haley's. This is the one that she made. You can see the difference between, she used a little bit less of the um, rose gold uh, metallic thread. It's called rose metallic thread. She used a little bit less of that, but that's just such a pretty little element on there. And she always does little things like that that just kind of take her designs to the next level, you know? Just makes it that little extra special. But this is a really nice little fun fold. You could use any type of designer series paper here. Don't forget that this paper is um, retiring. Let me grab that pack again. The Pressed Petals Specialty Designer Series Paper. And I think you get four sheets of each of these in here. And it's a little thinner. It's a little thicker than newsprint, but not much. So it's really nice to work with. We have all these beautiful floral prints in here, and it's all just kind of, again, a shabby, chic type of look. And I love it. I think she did a smashing job with this, right? This is a very classy, unconventional baby card. Or, if you don't need a baby card, you could stamp hello in here. Where'd my stamp set go? Oh, here it is. You could stamp the for you on there. That would fit in here too. So, um, but just kind of a neat looking card. Very pretty and elegant. Okay, I am going to flip you guys back around. So close your eyes if you get motion sickness. You're coming back to me. You know that I do not like talking to the back of your head. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get my crown straightened. You must have a straight crown. If you're going to wear a crown, wear a straight crown, right? <laughs> Um, I'm just looking at your comments here, you guys. Thank you so much. I was really just very happy with this card. She did a good job. And I know that the people that I'm swapping with are also going to love it. So, yeah, very, very cool. All right. I think that's all I have for you tonight. I will be back again tomorrow. Haley has made some other cards throughout the week that I have stacked up over here that I can use for videos. And... Maybe, oh, I got to get this. I got to keep this on my desk so I get something figured out with this too. I have a lot of ideas to share with you guys. I just need to have the time to do it. And while we're waiting for this baby, I will be working. Or whatever Haley needs me to do. Haley, if you need me to get you more Dairy Queen, you let me know. I will be over. I can run to Dairy Queen anytime. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for spending your Friday night with me, and I will see you back here again on Saturday. Don't forget to push that share button. Know that I always appreciate your orders, and if you have an order that's over $100, I highly recommend you consider joining my team of discount shoppers. You get $125 worth of product for only $99. You get free shipping. You get a paper pumpkin kit. You get 20% on all your future orders off. And right now, when we have stuff on the clearance rack, you get an additional 20% off after the clearance price is applied. 
yeah, it, it just keeps getting better, doesn't it? And you get to be part of my amazing, fabulous team. We have so much fun, and it's wonderful to be part of something so much bigger, especially when we're all isolated at home, right? So if you're on the fence about it, if you've ever thought about it, if you have the money that you're going to place an order around $100, please consider joining my team. I think you will love it. It's so much fun. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful Friday night, and I will see you back here again. I don't know what time tomorrow. Just watch for the notification to pop up on your phone, and we'll do a little stamping. Bye-bye.